So hi everyone. So this is actually a product demonstration of how to use Tutor in your online classes. So once you have opened Tutor and once you have selected that particular tile, this is how it appears. So I have actually selected one tile which is known as the heart. And once I have selected, these are the types of tiles that I'm having for this content. I'll just select the first one over here. So in order to select that, all you have to do is if you're using a system, you just have to drag your mouse. And if you're using a mobile phone, all you have to do is select that particular tile. And once it is open, this is how it looks like. Now, over here, we got these two tiles. That is known as the plus and the minus. What it is used for is actually to increase the size of this particular heart. Now, I'm just going to bring it to the side by dragging this object. So similar way, if you want to, if you are using your mobile phone, all you have to do is pinch in and pinch out. Like that, you are able to bring it, in. make it big or small, small. And not only that, if you just select it and drag it, you are able to bring it at your side or wherever you want, according to your desired position. So once that is done, here we do have these two options. What it is used for is actually, if you want to, you know, change its angles, all you have to do is select it. Since it's a 3D model, all you have to do is select these both and you can actually change its angles. Over here, because it's a rotation tool, what it is used for is actually in order to rotate this clockwise or anti-clockwise, you just have to select these two. So these are side features that we are having over here. Now, if you want to go back and if I want to change that type, now I'll just take another tile that I'm having. So that's this one. Okay, this is the inner part of the heart and this is how it looks like. All right. So I'll just place it at the side over here. And I'll just talk about the other features that I'm having over here. So over here, I got this annotation tool. What it is used for is actually, if you want to annotate on top of this, all you have to do is right, select that and write whatever you want. So like that, you can write whatever you want with your mouse or with your finger if you're using a mobile phone. And your tablet is also possible. Uh, I mean to see the graphic tablet. Or the pressure tablet with that also this is possible now if you want to delete it all you have to do is select that option and once it's done your writings will get deleted your annotation tools get deleted and over here we do have an option what it is useful it is actually used for if you are going through an online class suppose if you are if you don't want to show your phone face you just have to show your content all you have to do is select this and once you are selected a green screen actually appears so like this you are able to teach so in order to off your camera all you have to do is select that camera option and there you have you can off your camera and when you know, whenever you want it you can just on your camera so that feature is also there and this feature over here what it is useful in some cameras while you raise my right hand it appears to be my left hand so in order to avoid that kind of a situation we have actually a tile over here what it is used for is actually all you have to do is select it and there you have your mirror image. So in order to get a mirror image, all you have to do is select that option. The tile over here is a camera tool. What it is used for is if you are using your mobile phone, you do have two cameras. That is your front cam as well as your back cam. So if you want to switch cameras, all you have to do is select that option. So once you have selected that option, you can actually switch cameras. So since I'm using a desktop, I only have one camera. That's why I'm not going to use it. The, fun, the, the recording tool over here, what it is useful. So if you want to record your sessions, all you have to do is select this option. So once you have selected, the session gets recorded. And once your recording is done, all you have to do is stop it by selecting that option again. So if you're using a mobile phone, this recorded session will be available on your gallery. And if you're using your desktop, it will be available on your desktop itself. You just have to minimize tutor here and there you have it. it is over here see <coughs> so once you have selected the session gets recorded and this is how you get it now i'll just close it okay so this is how you get it. the final tool over here is an eye tool what it is used for is actually in order to avoid all these styles all you have to do is select that option so once you have selected it there you have a clear picture of this so this is how you use tutor Okay, so this is how it is. Now, if you want to go back, all you have to do is select this option. And once you select it, you can actually go to the next style you want, like this. Now, not only really that, if you want to go to the main window, all you have to do is select this. 
once you have selected it you can actually go back and once you select that back option again you can just go back to the main menu so this is how you do it so thank you